Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. If it's your first time here, kindly tap on the subscribe button. Also, click on the notification bell so that when I upload a new video, you will be first to be notified. My name is Regina McDoku, call me Reggie. In today's video, I would like to talk about some of the costly mistakes to avoid during courtship or relationship. of the relationships we find ourselves in so that you would ask yourself if you are making any of these mistakes and you would want to have a second look at them or address them if they need be the first mistake i would want to talk about is being in the relationship for the wrong reasons being in the relationship for the wrong reasons it's <laughs> it's kind of funny when you hear some of the reasons for which people are in the relationships that they find themselves in. You will hear a guy saying that I really want to marry this girl or this lady because she's prayerful. My brother, are you prayerful yourself? You want a prayer warrior to marry? Yeah, even the women want prayer warriors to marry as well. So before you even say you want this, you should be one. Okay? So if the women also want men who will be priests of their home, who will be the spiritual heads of their home, who will lay hands on their children and pray for them. So please, I'm sorry, if you want a prayer warrior to marry as a wife, so that oh, when I am asleep, she wake up at night and pray for me. <laughs> please, you should also be one yourself, so that in case you are disappointed, or in case your so-called prayer warrior is unable to deliver as you expect, you can also stand in. Sometimes so there are um, certain women who also be like, um, I want this guy, I want to be with this guy because um, he can take care of me, you know? <laughs> Sister, can you take care of yourself? Before you even think of getting a man who will take care of you, you should be able to take care of yourself because life is full of a lot of uncertainties. Sometimes you marry somebody today and tomorrow they've lost their jobs. So what happens if the same man can't take care of you like you expect? Are you going to walk out of the marriage? No. So please, I don't know the kind of reason you have for which you are in a relationship. Of course, there are certain things we all look at when trying to search for a partner. But it shouldn't be for the wrong reason. It should be for the right reasons. So that in case those expectations are not met. You can still survive in the marriage because I don't think you're having a relationship for fun. It is the end game is what? Marriage. Secondly, number two, one of the mistakes we should avoid in courtship is giving too much too soon. Giving too much too soon. Some people are trying to be wives when they are not wives. Actually, maybe you're just a girlfriend and vice versa. So you realize that some women are playing or are, 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 are executing responsibilities of wives. The same as men. Some are also trying to do things husbands would do. Please don't be a wife before you are made a wife. The same way, don't be a husband before you officially become one. So stop giving too much too soon. Okay, the kind of investments you are making in the relationship, some of them are just too costly. Some men, because they know that, okay, well, in today's era, a lot of women love money. So some even go to the extent of trying to go and borrow to impress this said lady because, well, that is the order of the day. I have to prove a point. No. It's a grievous mistake you are making. You know, some people even go to the extent of selling family property just to sponsor one young man to travel. This same man, you don't even know whether he would mind you when he gets his destination or not. Some guys are paying the fees of women or of some ladies when even his sister hasn't even gotten the same tuition fees to pay for her own fees. Please, I'm not saying it's wrong if you can afford it. Or I'm not saying it's not good to, to be kind to your partner. But when it becomes too much to the extent that 
you realize that in case this relationship doesn't end well, it will be, in fact, the effect you have on you will be brutal. Please don't do it. Do it, but don't overdo it. Be kind. Offer support. Do acts of services and all that. But don't overdo it. Do it in moderation. And ask yourself that in case this relationship does not end where I expect it to, would I be okay with the kind of investments I'm making now? If you won't be okay, then please you have to really look at it. Again, the third thing I would want to talk about, which is just like a continuation of this second point, is costly sacrifices. Apart from giving too much too soon, some of the sacrifices are too costly. Like I said, it's just an add up to the second point, are too costly. For instance, there are ladies who are committing like six abortions in one relationship. My sister, it's too much. Please, in as much as, first of all, having sex in a in, um, courtship or in relationship, it's wrong as a Christian, which you have decided to do as your own decision. You don't end up going beyond the bar to the extent that if this relationship or marriage doesn't work, you feel so used and all. And you know, sometimes some of the sacrifices are so costly that when there is a need to even walk out of the relationship, maybe you are experiencing you are experiencing toxicity or like things are not going as you expect. You are not able to walk away, okay? You are not able to walk away because you think that, well, I've, I've sacrificed too much. Someone will tell you the kind of investment I've made in this relationship. No, 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 no. I'm not working out. I'll stay in it. I'll fight for it. I'll fight for love. So even when things are not going well, you don't see the need to go because you feel you've invested too much to just let all your investment, your investments go waste. Please, setting costly Certain costly sacrifices are not worth it. Some ladies are even allowing men to have anal sex with them because, or all, all in the name of love. Please, please, and please again. I know that things we do for love, yeah, there's only things that only love will make you do them. But please, like I said, make sure that there wouldn't be investments or sacrifices that, in case. This relationship does not end where you want it to end. You will be so um, devastated. Or even if the relationship ends where you want it to end, you can still survive in it. If you are having anal sex now, how are you going to survive it the next 10 years? Ask yourself. And when you are not able to have it again, ask yourself if this same man will still be with you. These are things you should be asking yourself. Doing those kind of evaluations to ensure that you are not making what costly mistakes. Again, another, um, another mistake we should also look at is thinking that change is certain. You know, when you are in a relationship with someone, some way, somehow, because of that kind of love you claim you have for the person, okay, you try to even overlook red flags. Some people even make these red flags green. Okay, so they try to portray what they think the person should be on the person when the reality is facing you. Please face the reality. What you see now is what you will see in marriage. The probability that there will be change is very slim. The probability is so slim. So you need to ask yourself that in case this person does not change when we marry would i still be able to live with this habit would i still be able to live with this attitude will i still be able to live with this character their mannerisms how they go about their stuff will i be able to live with it if your answer is yes then you can still be in this relationship but if the answer is no then you need to maybe have a second look if you are in the right place because a man who is raising his voice at you now may raise his hand in marriage. The man who is lazy now may be super lazy when you marry. Don't think that, okay, it's because he doesn't have a job now. When we marry and he has a job, he will change. No. Even when he doesn't have a job now, what, are that thing? what is he doing for you to see that, okay, he's pulling his weight? That will give you some kind of conviction that, well, in marriage you will get better. Please, change is not certain in marriage. So whilst you are in a relationship now, or whilst you are courting now, you need to evaluate. You need to ask yourself that in case these things don't change, when I finally end up with the person, 
If I can live with a person, then I'm good to go. If I can't live with a person, then please, it's time to reconsider. Then, another mistake that we should avoid in courtship is avoiding friends and family. You know, one funny thing is that, I don't know if I should call it funny, or one interesting thing about some people is that immediately they identify the so-called love of their lives. That is the end of it. No family, no friend, nothing. Only the person and the person alone. Don't get me wrong. Please, put the person on top of your priority list. Of course, after God. There's no problem with that. That's your personal business. But in the event where you put the person first, and, okay, in the event where you put the person first, at the detriment of all other important things you need to look at it like i said prioritize this person put the person first on top of your priority list but not at the expense of family at the expense of friends some of us when we find someone we think we are so much into you don't listen to family advice again you don't listen to any advice again anything you have to do must come from this person if it's not coming from this person then you are not taking it. If it's coming from the person, yes, it's super. But you should know that people who are outside the relationship, okay, who you know have good thoughts towards you, may be seeing things that you in the relationship may not be seeing. So they are the people who can look at certain things from afar and tell you the reality. You know what? So they will tell you that this lady who is with you, it's with you just for maybe just for your money or this lady you see, it's so disrespectful at home or this man you see even does this on you know they are the people on the ground they will be objective you are in love so love can blind you okay so you may not even see the things they are seeing okay i'm not saying that you should just take anything that you are told about a person no not that and i'm not also saying that you should let family and friends be intruding in your relationship i'm not saying that too but i'm saying that don't avoid everybody because you are found love or because you're in a relationship also don't forget that you are supposed to marry a friend in case this current relationship doesn't work it is the same among these same friends you will pick again okay and even if the relationship you are in works you need these friends support you need family support so if you relegate everyone to the background because you are in a relationship what happens to you when you need help well of course you are a minimum you need help as a point in time you have to call on a friend you have to call on your family but if you start disrespecting everybody this disregarding everybody because you are in love or because you have a you are in a relationship now that is very bad Okay, I know people who are regretting that they, 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 they have um, avoided all friends because of a particular man and now the man is nowhere and right now you don't even know how to reconnect because when you were in a relationship and all things were going well, you were, you were not minding anybody, even when I'm talking to you and please my boyfriend is calling so later. There's nothing wrong with saying that, but you can say, um, can I pick a call and get back to you? Must you brush it on everybody's face? Must you do it in a way that it will be like, no one is important apart from this person? I'm sure you get the point I'm trying to make. Then, lastly, lastly, which is the most important thing I would want you to take note of, is avoiding God in this whole equation. Okay, I'm saying it, last to lay emphasis on it not because it's the least important point no this relationship thing that you are doing or this courtship you are doing can't thrive without god you don't take god out of the equation and you try to do it with your own human strength your own wisdom then when it fails or when things don't go well you run to god it doesn't work like that you put god first put him in between the two of you place him at the center of the whole equation when things go wrong, he's already there. He can see. He would assist you. But you don't take him out. Do it with your own strength. And when he fails or it doesn't go well, you go back crying. And as kind as he, he would accept us again. <laughs> well, now let me leave you with this. Jesus said in Luke 14 verse 28, that which of you intending to build a tower 
a tower would not count the cost. Like, take note of it. Which of you, intending to build a tower, would not count the cost to see if he has enough to finish it? Let's those let's you build the I'm paraphrasing, okay? Let's you build, you start building, you done you are done with foundation and you don't have what it takes to complete it. And those who pass by mock you and laugh at you. Okay, go and read this scripture, ponder over it, and I'm sure it will minister to you. What am I trying to say? All the things you are doing right now in the relationship you are in now, count the cost. Count the cost. Count the cost. The cost must be worth it. See it as business. It must be profitable. It shouldn't bring you loss. At least it shouldn't even break even, but not loss. Okay? Ask yourself, the things I'm doing now, the sacrifices I'm making now, what is, what, what are, what is the impact of these things I'm doing in the future? What will be the impact on me? Whether the relationship works or not. If the relationship works, what will be the impact? If it doesn't work, what will be the impact? Count the cost. I'm glad you gave me a listening ear. If you love this video, give me a thumbs up. Click on the share button, copy the link, and share. Keep sharing, keep sharing. Let's go viral. Let someone get to hear these. And also, there may be some costly mistakes to avoid in relationship and courtship I haven't mentioned, which you know even better than I do. Kindly put them in the comment section, okay? Nobody's a reservoir of knowledge, so I haven't said it all. You have all the points I've not mentioned, please put them in the comment section. Let the comments keep coming so that we can learn and add more knowledge to what we already know. Until the next video, bye!